I never liked your dad, but I didn't want him dead. I'm sorry, just ignore me. I'm lost in my head. I'm going out on a limb of the family tree, but it's not about him and it's not about me. Little sister, I miss you, and I wish I could be there, but I'm here, so I'm writing this instead because somebody's got to teach you about all your future issues now that he's not here to guide you through them, so I thought I'd give it a shot. It's just you and mom now in that big empty home, and she's going to leave you to do a lot of things alone. Now, she's not a bad mom. She just wasn't ready to be on her own, and she's trying her best. In eight years, he won't be with you to, to buy your first car, so you need to learn everything that you can before you go so you can surprise that slimy salesman who doesn't think you know anything about cars because you're a teenage girl and educate him on what a catalytic converter actually is. You have to do good in school because none of your brothers did. And frankly, it's on you because mom's not having any more kids. And one of us should be the smart one. So sorry to put you in that position. <laughs> it's not your fault that daddy died. But if you ever think that it might be, we can just pretend he loved you too much. And that's what made his heart explode. Speaking of exploding hearts, somebody's gonna break yours someday. So when somebody breaks your heart, here's what you can do. When somebody breaks your heart and you wanna break their face, go talk to your brother Logan. When somebody breaks your heart and you wanna forget about them, go talk to your brother Greg. When somebody breaks your heart and you're still in love with them, come talk to me. When somebody breaks your heart and you wanna know everything's gonna be okay, go hug mom. And I'm not saying that you need us to solve all of your problems. You're a strong girl, but if you ever want to, just call us. Take life slowly. Breathe deeply, love intensely, look straight into the sun and bathe in its warmth, because who needs eyeballs anyways? And enjoy today, because there might not be a tomorrow, but remember to stop and smell the flowers that he named you after, Kelsey Rose Olson. And just one last thing before I go, please take care of our mother. If you don't, I'll kick your ass. Don't forget, I'm still your brother. Give it up for Brayden.